A king has chained this massive whale on the sea as a punishment for eating local fishermen. It has been trapped for 500 years. Its body has now turned into an island. Every day, the big whale cries as a result of his constant torment. A man happened to pass by one day and decided to help it. The king was offended by this act. As a result, the man received a serious punishment. John is the man's name. He is the son of a farmer. He recently saved a white horse from a lake. The white horse, however, became a magical foal the next day. To thank him, the magic foal brought two perfect horses and became John's friend. A night before, the magical foal had wreaked havoc on the wheat fields, costing farmers a fortune. John rode the magical foal and planned to sell the two horses to make amends. Then John rushed to the king's city. He was swarmed by people as soon as he entered the city gate. Someone even paid a significant price for the horse, and the king happened to be watching the scene from distance. The king wants to keep the horses for himself. John can't cause a fuss, so he must obey. When the little magical foal noticed John's helplessness, he caused the horses to escape. The two horses then turned around and ran away. The magical foal then caused the king's carriage to crash into a flower pile. And seeing how humiliating the situation was, the king purposefully caused trouble, saying that since John was so capable, he has to capture the fire phoenix. The fire phoenix causes chaos in the country and its people. He will consider John as a hero if he can kill it. John had no choice but to go to the oasis. Fortunately, the little magical fool informed him that pine cones are the most delicious for the fire phoenix. A flaming phoenix rose from the ground as a flame burst from the ground. It swallowed the pine cone after grabbing it and tossing it into the air. It appears to like pine cones. Following that, the fire phoenix became dizzy and collapsed to the ground. It turned out that John had previously injected the pineal cone with drugs. Just as he thought he had captured the phoenix, a bird leg reached out from behind him. The flaming phoenix was chasing John and about to grab him, but the magical foal jumped and knocked the phoenix out. The fire phoenix then ascended, igniting the oasis. John tossed the pine cone in his hand at the end. The fire phoenix ate it. This time the drug works. The flaming phoenix fell into the lake. John captured the flaming phoenix. Seeing the fire phoenix's misery, John let go of the chain. The flaming phoenix ascended into the sky liberated and then left a feather for John to take back to the king. He returned to the king's city empty-handed. The king then ordered John's execution. With the feather as proof, John proudly claimed he had killed the fire phoenix, but the flame had faded and the feather looked like a chicken's. The king refused to accept his claim and proceeded with the execution. The feathers on the floor began changing. Flames blazed in the skies nearby. It was the phoenix. Everyone was stunned and said that John was a hero. When the king saw this, he rushed to the stage to recognize John as a hero. The king, on the other hand, would not let him go. He told him to go to the far north, where it was quite cold. There is an ice castle with a princess. The king ordered John to deliver the princess. John had to go out again. The little magical fool and John arrived at the castle's entrance. When he noticed the gate was empty, he rushed recklessly and hit the air wall. It was a magical barrier. The fire phoenix feather flew out and banged into the door. The magical fool washed away as the barrier melted. John found the sleeping princess inside the palace. When the princess heard John explain the king's youth, wealth, and beauty, she stood up and followed him immediately. But how will they descend such a high castle? The princess went bonkers and grabbed John and jumped down. Seeing this, the magical fool jumped as well. His wings suddenly appeared and caught the two falling people. Finally, John brought the princess back to the king's city. The king, however, refused to give up, claiming that a whale had invaded their sea. The giant whale has been trapped for 500 years after eating the local fishermen, but the king was not about to let it go, so he sent John to kill it. When John saw the whale's suffering, he decided to save it. He mounted his little magical foal and flew directly into the giant whale's nostrils. The whale's inside shined like stars at night. The little magical foal stretched its wings and touched its nostrils. The giant whale was made to sneeze. It raised its body, breaking the iron chain one by one. Then he looked up and spray out John and the magical foal. Then the giant whale let out hundreds of human sailboats. This was the huge whale's territory. The fishermen accidentally entered its territory. Then John landed on the beach. A crab gave him a ring from the whale as a thank you. John became a hero and the people loved him. But John's heart is with the princess. The princess does not want to marry the old and ugly king. Her prince charming is John. Enraged, the king placed the princess in house arrest. John snuck up to her window, but the ministers saw this happening. So they arrested John and he'll be judged the next day. The king prepared three large pots 
two of which were boiling and the third was filled with ice. The king will honor John as a hero if he can jump into the three pots because John knew this was going to end bad. He confessed his love to the princess. The king then pushed to John. The princess quickly removed her ring, tossed it into the pot, and saved John from the first boiling pot. Then John fell into the middle ice pot and instantly turned to ice. The flaming phoenix then roared, and its feather fell from the sky. In an instant, the ice melted. Then John fell into the last boiling pot. The audience thinks John is hopeless. Even the princess hid her face with her hands and cried. Suddenly, there was a bright flash of light in the sky. A dandelion dropped slowly. It turned out that the little magical foal fled to the end of the world, bringing a life and death controlling flower. John gently emerged from the boiler, looking very handsome. People cheered and said that John was the right one. On the opposite side, the king went insane and said that he too wanted to try. Then a big bubble flew up, carrying the fool king. He flew away, and with the people's support, John became the new king and had a happy life with the princess. The movie ends here. It is a 2021 Russian movie titled Upon the Magic Road. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching.